let's take a look at information process theory. Compared to other learning theories, information process theories give more emphasis to the internal processes that occur when training content is learned and retained. This figure shows a model of information processing. Information processing theories propose that information or messages taken in by the learner undergo several transformations in the human brain. Information processing begins when a message or stimulus, which could be a sound, smell, touch, or picture from the environment is received by receptors like ears, nose, skin, or the eyes. The message is registered in the senses and stored in short-term memory, and then it's transferred or coded for storage in long-term memory. A search process occurs in memory, during which time a response to the message or stimulus is organized. The response generator organizes the learner's response and tells the effector's muscles what to do. The final link in the model is feedback from the environment. The feedback provides the learner with an evaluation of the responses given. This information can come from another person or the learner's observation of the results of his or her own action. A positive evaluation of the response provides reinforcement that the behavior is desirable and should be stored in long-term memory for use in similar situations.